We got to talk about that video that's on Good Morning America and oh. everywhere else today. Oh, no, I don't think I can. I guess it's the radio oh. and television correspondence dinner. It happened last night down there in Washington. They get the press together. Oh, it's when the uh, the uh, politicians get to just let their hair down. Yeah. They go wild. They're just, And it's, it's amazing how funny and hip and relevant uh, they are and their, their comedy is. It's just amazing. I got a real problem with this. You know, we we, uh, we brush it under the rug uh, how many uh, Americans die every day in Iraq. You yeah. barely hear a peep about it. And uh, and they're showing, like, a video of President Bush just telling jokes and <laughs> laughing and stuff. jokes. Yeah, I got some jokes. <laughs> just a little weird to me, I guess. I don't Except know. the podium in his tuxedo and then a little black tie just <laughs> telling jokes. And, and then they're dancing on stage at the end of it. Yeah, there's a big dance number. Who is dancing? Carl Rove? Oh, yeah. He's dancing and he's calling himself MC Rove or something? Don't oh, even say it. God. I can't. MC Rove. It's a rap dude, parody. Dude, I cannot look at it. I've looked at the video uh, on the TV, but the sound is down. I can't imagine what it sounds like. No, no, no. Don't give me the thumbs up, Sam. It's just so embarrassing to watch. Oh, they should not. You know, we, we, we said this just before. They should. Maybe some people not show up at these things. Maybe President Bush should say, you know something? In light of current world events, I'm going to decline coming to this party, the invitation. Uh, I don't think it would be appropriate at this time. Just give that. And, and, and of course, the press would jump on it. Well, what's inappropriate about it? What, you got a problem? Yeah. Yeah. It's business as usual, though. You know, you get to be the president. You want to enjoy all the fun stuff, too. In my world, I think if you're the president and there's a war going on, unfortunately, you don't get to do all the fun stuff. No you, fun stuff. you got to be in that Oval Office every day doing your job and not yeah. not uh, doing a black tie thing and, and, and uh, making sure your jokes are, are really good. <laughs> I mean, come on. Look you're not looking at that in the Middle East just laughing at us? Of right. course. Of course, his asses in the cabinet just laughing and doing a rap parody. They're just, and they're over there wiring uh, uh, explosive devices to put on the side of the roads. It's like Rocky Three. He's, uh, he's acting like Sylvester Stallone in the hotel lobby working out. And meanwhile, uh, Clubber Lang is, is down in the basement doing chin-ups. <laughs> mm, that's mm. right. That's I'll right. show you a real man. That's Come right. here. Hey, woman. That's right. That's what Iran's doing. That's, that's what, what they're all doing right now. They're working out in the basement. And we're... North Korea. We're dancing around. Yeah. We're dancing around to some bad song. We don't have to try anymore. We're the best. Right? We're the best, right? Yeah. Here it is. Well, this is when he was really working out. <laughs> I think that the, um, his brother sang the song. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is all we had. Awful. Yeah. <laughs> Clubber Lang was working out in the basement. Look at Carl Rove. And Carl Rove is jumping around like a friggin' idiot. Like a Baggins. fruit. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, oh. like a fruit. The black guy Jesus. can actually dance, of course. I had a kinkachu. It's a little cute animal. <laughs> non threatening at all. Thank you. Well, you guys want to hear the president telling jokes? <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. Uh, you want to hear the president telling jokes? Please. All right, here he is. Hear. By the way, uh, George Bush will be on the virus tour with us. <laughs> <laughs> He's hysterical. Might as well. Might as well. Well, where should I start? A year ago, my approval rating was in the 30s. My nominee for the Supreme Court had just withdrawn. And my vice president had shot someone. Ah, those were the good old days. <laughs> now we're going to do something extremely fun. <laughs> really? That was a funny line, though. Whoever wrote that is... <laughs> well, yeah, that's the other thing that the American needs to know. He doesn't write these I things. I sit He's... down all night, new material. That's what I do. He's got writers that hand him, <laughs> hand him this stuff, knowing it's going to be good. Like to thank my writer, Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> Want to buy a tank door? <laughs> <laughs> More Bush. Democrats are trying to get me to sign off on a bill, and I'm dodging them. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, there's the dancing. <laughs> oh no! Stop with the dancing. He's Carlos doing kind of like he's a. He's trying to do an old school like Run DMC oh. kind of dance. But it looks like he's swinging his arms around. He's jumping like an idiot. The black man on the stage with him has got to turn in his Negro card. Also, he is not allowed to call himself a black man. What is he doing there? It's kind of like a walk like an Egyptian type of dance, yeah. too. The black guy can dance. He's like one of the spinners. At least he has some kind of moves. His hands are moving in a lovely fashion. Of course, but why is he there with Carl Rowe? The black Rowe? guy can't dance. No. He's, he's taking he, it down and not. He's, he looks like he me. could dance because uh, Carl Rove is just so over the top bad. No, he's, is that Colin Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> No, the black, guy, you know. the black guy is actually not dancing well on purpose because he, he always gets the move. He's just embarrassed because he doesn't want everybody going, oh, of course, the, you know. Of course right. The, the yeah. black guy has rhythm. Yeah. But Karl Rove, he's uh, having a seizure. The black guy realizes that he's in the, the white man's world. So he's oh, like, yeah. oh, I got I to gotta dance like a whitey. Yeah. If I dance like I know how to dance, they're going to kick me out of this uh, club. Carl oh, Rove. no, they're rapping. MC Rove. Look, is, Do we have audio of this? Is the white yeah. guy that has the mic now, because there's a white guy that has a mic. Is he rapping? Dude, we got the clip. Oh, Let's move on here. But Here's... I have to know. We have to identify the people. Like, who's, Carl Rove who's is rapping? dancing and someone else is uh, rapping about him, right? But, but then he hands the mic over to Carl as well, Carl we're gonna find says out. his name. He's going to say something. Oh, God. But first, more awful. jokes from uh, the president of the United States. <laughs> Yeah. Of America. <laughs> Got a joke. Uh, Speaking of subpoenas, it's good to see Speaker Pelosi tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing. You know, some have wondered how the two of us would get along. Some say she's bossy, she's opinionated, she's not to be crossed. Hey, I get along with my mother. It's cracking them up. Okay, terrific. He's killing, though. Oh, he's, he's having like an eight and a half, <laughs> nine. Okay. Hey. Well, if you're the president, don't you think you could get the best joke writer? He's got the timing. Hey, get along with my mother. <laughs> you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know, one year, Ozzy was there and he introduced uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Osbourne. Dope. It's right there in the audience. Let me tell you. If you got a quagmire of a war halfway around the world and you're telling jokes, you might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many people? Carl how many people just to get, getting exploded hey, while he was doing this? Someone doesn't agree with us, so oh, let, no. let, oh, let their voice be heard. Hey. Absolutely. Tim in Pennsylvania, go ahead. You're on the Opie and Anthony show. You know, two of the most irrelevant people complaining about irrelevance. I mean, uh, listen, let the guy be a human being, for God's sake. Excuse uh, me, please explain yourself. I, I'm, I'm from the school that the president should not be a human being while he's in No, the not during a war, you Sorry. idiot. Sorry. You know, you can disagree, that's fine, but I, 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 don't, I don't see it. Hold it's on, disrespectful to the uh, men and women that are fighting and dying over there. You what about you guys do? What about what you guys do? We're not the what? president. What, what about? Yeah, we're not, not the, the president. president. We tell dick jokes, ass. We know where we're at. I uh, go back to Russia. What? Uh, Russia. He gave us a 1980 well, response. Russia's not even around anymore. Those commies. Let me yeah. shake my fist. Better read the dead. Click. Uh, what do you expect from a hippie? <laughs> what the hell is wrong hippie, with you? That's a young Republican. Yes. Let him be human for a day. I say no. No. I, I say, say no. He yeah. respectfully declines uh, the invitation because he's got uh, more important things to worry about. Do you know that that the British Are have? Uh, oh no, they came already. <laughs> What? They, they have uh, what amounts to hostages. Uh, they're they're uh, British soldiers, uh, sailors that were taken by the Iranians. The Iranians say they they were in Iranian water. They said they were in Iraqi water. They got all kinds of proof with GPS that they were in Iraqi water. But they decided not to make an international incident to this and went with the Iranians. And now the Iranians want uh, uh, them to say that yes, they were indeed in I Iranian water. Do you know the, the British government actually came to the American government? Because you're wondering, why, why aren't we like shaking our little saber and saying, yeah. uh, coming out against this? And asked us, could you please not comment on this? Could you please stay out of this? Because you, your world opinion is so goddamn bad 
that if if you guys bring up the American side of this, it's just going to make matters worse. So stay out of it. Our number one ally, Britain, England, is telling us to stay out of it. But they're saying, hey, look, we can handle that yeah, one. And, and Bush is, is, is telling jokes. And it's on YouTube now. <laughs> oh. MC Rove is on YouTube. MC Rove, will this bring Matt? Uh, let's go to Max in Dallas. Max, what's up? Uh, you know the difference between a woman and a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to say the fuzz <laughs> line. I had a little callback. A little callback from yesterday's show. Hey, take my war, please. Sheesh. <laughs> 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 hey, that's pretty funny. Let's go to Eric in Colorado. Because I was thinking about this. I was thinking about the presence from uh, yesterday. Yeah. And I was wondering if they did the same thing. Were they kind of like being a human being for a day? Well, and and I was thinking that FDR, you know, didn't do anything crazy while the, the big one, the big war was going on. Big but, but Eric uh, reminds me of uh, something here. Eric in Colorado, go ahead. Yeah, morning, boys. Hey. Uh, yeah, during World War II, FDR was banging a couple of broads on the side. Was he? Oh, yeah. It's been widely talked about. In fact, he died in the arms of one of his mistresses. No one's saying that you're not going to do stuff like that. We're talking about public dancing displays, which I don't think yeah, FDR did. I, I think it kind of falls into the same category. You know, Jokes. You've got, to have, you've got to have a little bit of a human moment even during war. He has human moments. This is like some, I don't know. Look, maybe I'm wrong on this, but I just think no, with everything going on right now, this doesn't seem to me to be like I can't watch him joking. I'm not looking at it and laughing and going, "Oh God, that's that's good." I can't watch it without thinking that there's people being exploded. There's uh, well, the soldiers somewhere in Iraq just scared out of their wits. Yeah, yeah, but you know, at, at the same time too, you look at the, all the press pressure and stress the president's under he's got to do something to have a little bit of levity well let him do it in his private life dude it, it's embarrassing to have a bunch of these jackasses and tuxes dancing and doing a little rap no one's saying don't be a human being but you know what have a little dignity when the fact that you're authorizing people to be over there getting shot and there would be headings enough already with this stupid display of he's a person we know what he is yeah we know he's a person obviously he's a person how many soldiers did we lose overnight does anyone know Nah, of course not. Because they don't really mean anything to anyone, right? Thank you, Eric. Let's uh, let's uh, play some more Bush here. <laughs> two two Sikhs walk into a bar. <laughs> it explodes. Hundred dead. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> Nuff. But between the Congress and the press, there is a lot of scrutiny on this job. Not a day goes by that I don't get scrutineered one way or the other. You know, I'm considering what's next. President Clinton, of course, wrote a very successful presidential memoirs with 10,000 pages or something. I'm thinking of something really fun and creative for mine. You know, maybe a pop-up book. Consider a number of titles. Which do you like? How W got his groove back? How W got his groove back? There's just nothing worse than when like older people assimilate a little bit with pop culture. And Trying that joke. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that movie, how old is that? Yeah. That's stupid. And that's the beauty of it. They're so out of touch, they think they're being relevant by doing a, a 10-year reference, something that was 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Well, all right. Pop-up book. Well, we got Vicky in Detroit. She's mad, too. Vicky, right. Vic, Vic, please. Be heard, Vicky. Be all heard. Right. Vicky. His name is Jake. Vicky from <laughs> Detroit. You're on, Vicky. Be heard. Hey, you guys. What's on your mind this after? No. Hey, why are you guys bashing Bush this morning? We're, uh, we're, we just find it a little, uh, a little creepy. Why, why not? That a bunch of older white men are down in Washington in tuxes and doing little rap Vic songs and telling silly jokes that someone else wrote for them. Vicky, can I ask you something honestly? And give me an honest answer. Do you think everything Bush does is beyond bashing? No, 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 no. Okay. But Listen, it's all, it's all true that his parents should certainly ask the university that he went to for their money back. <laughs> 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 I 
That's terrific. Listen, listen, you guys. This sucks. <laughs> oh, back. We enjoyed your joke. Yeah, we're still here. We're hoping for another dozy. <laughs> go ahead. We have our laughing hats on and the ball's in your court. There you go. Listen, you guys, would you rather have Bill back? Die. Yeah. You made it at least interesting. Hey, hey, if Bill was back, then he could call in regarding the, the creepy stepdad thing. Let me tell you something. Oh, shit. Ah! I didn't even know that was a joke. Um, Vicky, uh, it doesn't mean if, if if you if you if you criticize Bush on something he's done, it doesn't mean that you want the opposite. Of, like, oh my God, get me a liberal Democrat quickly. Like, you, yeah, all these people that are calling in to say, what are you bashing Bush for? Are they right? Oh, they're liberal. They're this. How come when Bush does something stupid that uh, we interpret as stupid, you can't just point it out without people like you calling and going, would you rather have Clinton back in? No. Clinton's the reason uh, that, uh, the, that the Muslims were able to get so much power in the first place. That's what I say. I just, You're, it, it doesn't mean uh, you can't criticize this guy. You can't criticize this oh, guy yeah. to some people. Oh, you can. You hey, can. hey, have you guys ever traveled overseas? Yes, I have. Yes. Why? Okay. What's the so, point? What? <laughs> yes? So the guys are, are aware of, of cultures then other than how we live here in the United States. Yes. Yeah. Yes, unimportant cultures, yes. Yeah. Okay, well, whenever... They have really bad TV. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I learned. Food stinks. No, the food's a little better. Except for France. A little better. Bye. A little better. Bye. What? Yeah, Vicky, it's just an agenda-driven call. Oh, oh Vicky gets all she, mad. She should oh, get no. mad, stupid white Republican. Oh. Shut up. I just oh, yeah. hate older white guys in Tuxes. Yeah, they what? creep me out. I don't care if they're Republican, Democrat. Older white guys in Tuxes party. trying to uh, act hip. Ugh, that's what we're getting at today. That's ridiculous. And sorry, I have people still over in Iraq. I, you know, I take it pretty seriously. How many divisions? Huh? Oh, so you were talking <laughs> about you... General Opie. Hi, I'm Greg Hughes, the man that plays General Opie over in Iraq. <laughs> would I take Clinton over this idiot? I actually would now. At this point, I would. Oh, boy, Jim. I would. Your approval rating with this uh, show. Oh, boy. Down. I would take Clinton statement. over this guy. Oh, now boy. I, I keep it neutral, so I try to get as many fans as possible out there. I would. <laughs> I'm becoming. You want to hear Carl Rove pressing. and the rap thing? This is this I, is the video I, I want to, talking yes. about. But we have to. Finally, we get to this. Carl Rove dances as someone raps about him. You see, Tony Snow, by the way, is the one of the guys in the background dancing. Is he? Uh, yeah, I just noticed Tony Snow. Was it did. Tony Snow or yeah. uh, uh, Dave? Uh, Dave uh, uh, he's on Imus all the time, and he does the good uh, Tom Brokaw. Da, da. Tony Snow just told everybody he has like the one on the left. Liver cancer. The one on the left is. Dave, Tony Snow is not good. Dude. Maybe he wanted to feel better what? about himself by doing something that's worse than having liver cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing with Carl Rove. That's not. That's David. I'll show you Tony Snow. Wait, that's Go not the one right there. Yeah, the one, the one in the background on the left, smiling his last dance. Believe me, he knows this is the last dinner he'll be attending. Oh. <laughs> the one dancing is not uh, Tony Snow though. In the background, that's not him. Uh, it's uh, David. Oh, all right. Uh. Honey Snow is tired. Go to Pal Talk. They know. <laughs> They'll help me instantly. <laughs> Dave. Sleep on the table, Tony Snow. It's vomiting off the side of the house, everyone. <laughs> it's a good joke, Jimmy. I'm sorry to, sorry to blow up your spot. I should have just went with it. I know. I thought it was him. I'm not even kidding. Go, go down. It's David. Uh, no one on Pal Talk could help me out. Well, Maybe they're no. not watching the video. Uh, we'll have the answer in a second. But anyway. Well, thank Elo just uh, texted me Snow wasn't there, so I'm incorrect. I thought that was Tony Snow. Was thank Elo there? Yes, he probably was. Probably was. David Gregory, thank you. Oh. I was going to give someone credit, but then uh, E-Rock turns the screen off. CCSC447, <laughs> thank you. David Gregory. E-Rock just gave the head shake with the mouth open. The... <sighs> All right, he doesn't know. He can't I, read my mind. boy. He doesn't know. Eric just wants to be kissed on the cheek. And uh, Elo probably wasn't. Right, They're probably like, drinking like alcohol, uh, like like uh, I, I can't get the reference out. <laughs> Elo was uh, was at the dinner last night. Was he? Maybe we'll have him call the show. <laughs> That's an exclusive. Maybe. Maybe we'll let you call the show today, boss. If I get drunk and try to approach the president about the merger and then just throw him down. <laughs> <laughs> have him removed. Here's, Elo, how you doing? <laughs> here's uh, Carl Rove dancing. 
The president's right-hand man, Karl Rove, whose name has been in the middle of several recent heated controversies, was called up to participate in a rap song and dance and oh. looked at times like he was trying to do a ballet. Tell me what is your name? And say Rove. That's true. He's dropping his arm. He's rapping and a chilling and a showing his charm. He will do it or without fail. Get out his gun because he's shooting quail. This man will never stop. Look at him jumping up a daughter ready to hop. He's got so much to prove. And tell me you never thought this man move. Doing the dance, the car road dance. Doing the dance. All right, look. This is the Opie and Anthony show. Fair is fair. Hold on. Before you say home. anything. Before you say anything, yeah, fair is fair. We do have black listeners. A moment of silence <laughs> to allow the black listeners to openly laugh at their radio and go. Here's the, the guy was a good rapper. I mean, uh, lyrically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If it was nineteen eighty, shut up, Jimmy. Seven, eighty-eight. Well, I can't appreciate a guy. Who no, rap. you can't. I know you're just full of crap. That guy was good. They just doing the Carl Rove. You know how oh, stupid? God, I can't sit here. You know how stupid Whitey looks right now. I know we're busy doing it with computers and we're not good at their awful dancing. <laughs> <laughs> stupid non-art form. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can also see Carl Rove have to sort of tone down his dancing as he concentrates on his big line. Like he's very excited, and then it's yeah, he's say the MC Rove, and he has to tone it down a little bit. Uh, he, I swear to you, he is dancing. He looks like a retarded child at a carnival. Like you can't keep him still. He's trying to run off to something. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Michael Richards needs to walk on stage with a cordless mic and just redo his laugh factory set. <laughs> Imagine if Bush got heckled and he, he goes into Michael Richards mode. Hey, yeah. <laughs> That's right, I said it. And that one black guy on the stage dancing, that one black Republican up there yucking it up. And believe me, black people, you should hate him. You should Absolutely. Hate him. He, you know that guy could dance, but he, he's not going to show any of his talents up there. That's no right. Way. Up on stage, he's a... He's a. <laughs> Go ahead, that's right. I said it. I said it. He's a. <laughs> get him out of here. Get that out of here. Uh... Hasn't Bush did a really tasteless joke? <laughs> Like a sea bomb reference in it. Pelosi, <laughs> right? Calling it. It smells bird. like fish. A tasty dish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Danny in New York. Danny, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? What's going on, man? You, uh, you got a, you got a new listener here from Staten Island. How you doing? All right. Uh, pretty good. We don't know much about Staten Island. I think they do human experiments. Uh, My there. fifth favorite borough. That's right. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Anyway, listen, man. What I, think, uh, I think Bush got his jokes from the uh, funny department over there at Steve Harvey's uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, you can't beat him in the funny department. Thank you, Danny. All right, guys. You have a good one, all right? We nice. love callbacks on the show. All right. I the jokes were, were good, but just... Uh, yeah, but he, he didn't write them. And, no. I don't know. Look, man, you know, you don't have to agree with us. I just find it a little, a little creepy. Yeah. Yeah. 